Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day so far. And guys, in today's video, we are going to have a conversation. We are going to, um, we are just going to talk about this channel. We're going to, we're going to go over kind of where I've been, what's been going on. I know at this point, there's a ton of questions as to, you know, Paige, where are you? Are you okay? What's going on with the upload schedule? And I'm going to talk about that because this this video for me this this moment right here is a really really hard one and it's something quite frankly that i never thought i would have to do but it's also me putting into practice the hard part of the reason i started this channel this 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 right here is me put, putting my money where my mouth is and telling you guys you know the the hard part of what goes on behind the scenes and so i guess with that being said uh, just so you guys know i am going to do my best to kind of keep this together and go from the beginning to the end and kind of touch on everything i want to along the way but just so you guys know going into this i am a little bit all over the place i have so many emotions and there's just there's just a lot going on in my head and as we go through it you'll kind of um you'll see obviously what's going on so um that but that whole thing being said um i want to start off first with when the whole reason I started my channel if you don't know I actually started it back on April 16th of 2017 so I've been doing YouTube now for over four years and the whole reason I started my channel the whole reason I came on here the whole reason that this is even a thing is because I was watching YouTube and I was in makeup and I was you know involved into all of it and I was really loving you know, just the beauty aspect of what was being created but as I kept sitting there and watching these videos you know yes I would learn about like the makeup side of it you know the the technique or the new product like, is it good? Is it not? I would learn all of that, which is awesome. But I kept sitting there feeling like there was nobody like me. Like there, there's this big hole that needed to be filled in the beauty realm um, that talked about, you know, yes, the new makeup is awesome and let's talk about it. But let's also talk about like the things that we face as real human beings. Let's talk about, you know, the anxiety, the depression, the um, the um, chronic illness, chronic pain, the, the infertility, like what, whatever the issue is, let's talk about it. Because I feel like in the beauty community, for so long it was all about beauty and I just kept asking myself like what would happen if you talked about it like what wh why not go there because for me these are things that millions of people deal with I know I'm not the only one like this is normal to have you know all of these these feelings and to have you know medical stuff going on like that's that shouldn't be something that is like not talked about and so for me when I started my channel four years ago over four years ago now um, it was really really important to me that I always have a base group of you know you guys regardless of if it was one or one million people to always be able to go to and say like look this is what's going on with me this is how I'm feeling this is the problem or just be open with you guys about whatever it was and this is something that I have done you know obviously throughout my channel and something that has really connected and resonated with so many of you guys is like ju just this idea of knowing you're not alone right like knowing you're not the only one that's facing whatever the issue is that's come your way and I think for me a lot of it too was that I wanted to be able to be open and talk about it and like give me that space to like put it out into the world but I also wanted the people that were watching me to be able to have that space as well to know that like th this isn't just my my channel this isn't just my space I don't occupy this alone because every video that I make every time I talk or I have talks like this you guys are there with me because so many of you can go through it and or are going through it and you you need this space just as much as I do like you need a place where you can see someone going through the same thing because going through a lot of these issues it can feel really really lonely and it can feel like the most deadening part inside of your soul. And I think too the other part of it for me was that I really wanted um I really wanted this to be a channel where younger me like if, if I were watching this when I was 7, 10, 13 whatever years old um when I was younger I wanted to be that person that I could have listened to you know somebody that would have shown me it's okay to be strong and to be a confident woman and to be plus size and to be sick and to be, you know, anxious, to have depression. It's okay. Um, you're not, you're not in this alone and like you are loved and there's nothing wrong with you because I feel like for so many years of my life, I felt like there was something wrong with me. And I just wanted to bridge that gap. I, I, I wanted to fulfill that need because I know that if I was needing it when I was younger and even into adulthood, I knew that there were other people out there that needed to hear it, that needed to hear that like they're, their pain and like th those loneliest moments that they're not experiencing experiencing them by themselves anyways all of that is just to say um 
again, if you weren't here from the very, very beginning of, or if you've never heard me talk about it before, um, it's just all to give you guys kind of the backstory on where I started and kind of where this conversation stems from, which actually leads perfectly into the next part of the conversation, which is kind of more the meat and potatoes part of it. So um, over the last year, my health has been steadily declining. My health has been um, an issue of continued concern who for me and for my parents um especially especially my parents um because over the last year i've noticed a lot of um a lot of my autoimmune diseases and a lot of my existing uh disorders like spinal disorders and stuff like that have started to worsen and um I found a lot of things increasingly difficult. I've went to the doctor obviously multiple times and if you follow me on Instagram, I've talked about it like in the Insta stories, hey, I'm going to this doctor, that doctor. Um, I'm always going in for like tests and scans and blood work and stuff like that. And um, at this point, they are not like super conclusive on anything, um, which obviously with, you know, everything that's going on with the, uh, uh, the pandemic and stuff, it definitely put a lot of testing on hold. Um, but I, I found the going through the last year, um, I'm kind of right now at a place where my body feels worse than it's ever felt. And um, I guess it, I'm not going to get into like everything specific. Well, true, number one, I don't have any like definitive, hey, this is what I have or this is what's going on. Um, I don't have anything definitive I can tell you other than the same things that I've had for a long time. Um, but I, I will say right now my body is at a place where um, my my hips and my back, like the degenerative, because if, if you're not familiar, I do have uh, degenerative disc disease, spinal stenosis and scoliosis, which is just, you know, basically my, my back and my hips and like my whole spinal um, situation is just all, all out of whack. It's just, it's always, um, you know, wanting to curve or I'm missing discs and it's, it's compressing over time, stuff like that. But now here comes the point where everything kind of comes full circle. <laughs> you guys are probably like, Paige, get to the point. Um, but there was a point um, about a year ago, again, where I noticed that it was no longer longer just the physical pain. Like it wasn't just, oh, it's a migraine, it's a back pain, it's a body ache or a swollen knee or whatever. Like those, those are the things that I've been dealing with for years. Um, but this was different. I, I noticed that one day when I got done filming, cause I film typically Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I noticed that on a Sunday when I got done filming, I actually couldn't speak. Like my, my ability to, to use my voice was so strained that I, I had a hard time producing words. As I was sitting in here, you know, shutting off all the lights, I went out to go edit my video. Um, again, barely being able to talk, I just kept saying to myself like, you know, I'm sure like it's fine. I'm, I'm, it's probably allergies, like you're 30, it's probably your sinuses, it could be anything. And what ended up happening, long story, <laughs> long story long, um, what ended up happening is that over the last year, my ability to speak and my ability to project and to laugh and to do like literally to be me okay I, I hate to say this but I think for me like my my ability to communicate and to be um my, my ability to be me is so rooted in my voice and to being like this this loud <laughs> this loud person that I am uh, because this is this is me and, and it took me so many years to become comfortable in my skin and to be comfortable with my laugh and to be comfortable being like a loud boisterous person and it, because it took me so many years to be there I was so dead set that when I have my channel and when I, you know, I had people to talk to that I was going to be my authentic self. And so all of these months are going by and I keep thinking to myself again, like I'm, I'm in this like denial where I'm thinking, you know, it's going to get better. Like it's going to clear up. One of these days you're going to film and you're not even going to notice it. It's not going to hurt. You'll see, like you'll be fine. And month after month goes by and there's no improvement. And during this time, like I'm, I'm drinking, you know, like the throat coat teas, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can to rest my voice. But obviously you guys know, or if you don't know, um, you know, I do have a, a small business that I have with my dad, um, in the real, like, you know, my, my regular job and stuff. And so like, it, as much as I was trying to rest my voice, I was like, maybe it's not enough. I kept, you know, doing all of like the over the counter stuff and trying, you know, the herbal remedies. And I just kept noticing that like, no matter what, my voice is still strained. Like there's still something so wrong here. And even up until actually this past week, which is why I haven't been anywhere this past week, not even on Instagram. Um, this past week I ended up going to an ENT and I believe this was my 
second or third ENT. I'm not sure. Um, but I went to an ENT, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and um, she actually wasn't the wasn't the best experience. Um, but she actually was looking to see if maybe I had vocal cord nodules or this or that. And right now the the concern is um, with my throat. Obviously, I don't want to strain it. I don't want to piss it off. I don't want to stress it out because I don't want to do long term damage. Like obviously, you know, th this is again like the essence of who I am, and I don't want to lose or you know hinder my voice or hinder my ability to speak obviously um but at the same time like is this something isolated to my throat is this something where it is an autoimmune disease and like because you know if you're not familiar with autoimmune diseases once you have one typically you have more and um an autoimmune disease is where your body attacks itself so they're wondering okay is this again just her vocal cords is this isolated or is this her body you know an autoimmune disease that's attacking her vocal cords like what what's going on here what is at play really what i'm getting at here and all of this is to say where my throat is concerned like where my my voice is concerned um i have been resting it and you know i've been trying to uh, again continue like my herbal remedies she kind of gave me a couple things that i could try in the meantime while we figure it out but for the time being um i do have to pause my youtube hmm. i have hmm I have to pause my YouTube and I have to um, take a step back. It's not going to be like I'm gone forever. I don't, I'm not like never going to upload again. Um, but for the foreseeable, you know, future, like the, at least the next couple of weeks, there probably won't be a video on here. I'm not saying that there won't ever be another video again. I don't know if it'll be in two weeks, in four weeks. I don't know. I don't, I don't know um, because I don't have anything figured out. Okay, so let's try this again. And by the way, if the framing changed, I took this moment to change the battery in my camera. So if, if if things look a little different, that's why. But um, anyways, all of this isn't to say, oh my God, all of this isn't to say that um, there's not going to be any videos. It doesn't mean there won't be uploads. I just, for me, I don't know when they're going to be, um, which for uh, that is, I think the most frustrating part is that I, I hate not having any answers and I hate not being able to give you like a definitive, this is what this is. Um, but the reality is, is I just, I don't have any answers and I don't even foresee me having any in the near future. All I do know is that when I started this channel, you know, one of the things that, like I said before, that was the most important to me was having an open, honest conversation and dialogue around chronic illness and around the things that so many of us face all the time. And I think the thing of it is, because I, I was just talking to my mom about this, like th the other day, actually, when I was trying to put this into words, when you have chronic illness or chronic pain, at least for me, I'm not going to obviously speak for everyone, but just in general, my experience is that you lose so much when you're chronically sick all the time, right? Like you lose, you lose moments with people that you love that you can't get back. You lose the trips that you can't take because you can't do them. You lose friends. I can't, I've lost friends over this. You lose family. You lose, you lose respect and, and things and jobs. And you, you lose so many things because you can't hold them all because you can't physically do it. And for me, I think I figured it out. It's that YouTube, the reason this is so hard, like, I, again, I've lost things for the last 20 years of my life and throughout losing people and things and relationships and whatever and situations, throughout losing all of that, this has been the hardest thing I've ever lost and it's because YouTube for me has always been a haven. It's always been that place that I could go. It's always been that thing that I could do that was so, it was just uniquely me and it was something I could put all of myself into and something that I could pursue and that I could love and a place where I could meet people who Absolutely not. A place where I could meet people that would understand me and that would get my perspective and that wanted to talk to me about, you know, makeup and what was going on and people that... <sighs> people that could build a community that I was proud of. And I look back at my channel and like, don't get me wrong, obviously like this, this doesn't derail me. This isn't like my, my social media situation is no longer over. Okay. We're going to talk about that more in a second. But the thing about this, I think is just, I have to accept like the, the pause, not the end, but the pause of a season. And I didn't realize how tethered I was to this. Like I, I didn't realize how much I identified myself by this YouTube channel, by something that I had built. And the thing about it too is that this channel not only was it a haven for me and something that I built but it was also a, a place that I, I could come to a place where you know it, it got me through some of my harshest doctor's appointments it got me through some of my hardest like my, my breakup like all of these things that I went through that this channel has been here for and the people have been here for and it was something that I could always throw myself into and that I could always love and enjoy and it taught me how to love and enjoy myself that much more I just I, I struggle with 
with it. And I think now, now that I've had, you know, a week um, of like self-reflection and a week of really feeling this out, because that, that this past week when the, that was the worst my voice has ever gotten, the worst that I have ever hurt in my throat was this past week. That's the reason that I wasn't anywhere because I had issue after issue and I had an issue with a doctor when they pulled the scope out and it hurt so bad. And like feeling that this feeling is, is so awful. And I kept thinking in the back of my head, like out of all the physical pain I'm dealing with, why is this the worst? Like why, why is pausing a YouTube channel? Like other people do this page. Why is it so hard for you? And it's so hard because it's something that I just, I genuinely love so much. <sighs> okay, so here's the thing, guys. I'm just going to cut myself off from whatever I was just saying because I don't know really how to segue because I just realized I was like talking and talking and talking with no no end in sight and I there was like no off ramp for what I was thinking and I just occurred to me like, Paige, just shut up and move on. So I'm going to do exactly that. And, um, but again, all of this is to be said. I, there will be content. I don't know when it would happen. I don't know what it'll be. Um, I do know that I have a lot of content that I want to bring you. I'm not done talking about makeup or any of that, but on this channel, that is going to take a pause. Now, that being said, um, I have given this a lot of thought as far as like how I can continue to do content. How can I continue to, um, you know, put up stuff like, you know, makeup wise, talk about new launches. Like how can I continue you know, to still further what I love doing because I, the one thing that I don't want with this, um, with this and like the whole body. And as I go through this, I don't want to have to go through it, um, away from like the family that I built online. Like that, that isn't fair. <laughs> that isn't fair to me. That isn't fair to you guys. And truthfully, there's no reason that I need to give everything up. Like if I just have to give this a little bit of a rest, then that shouldn't take away everything. So what I've decided, um, and I know you guys are sick of it. So if you don't want to, if you don't care, if you want to X out here, that's totally fine. But I have decided that over on my Instagram, I am going to be continuing um, a lot of my makeup uh, information. So whether that is testing out new makeup, I'm going to be doing like reels on them. You're going to hear, you know, first application, wear tests. I'm going to be doing what I call um, little like one minute makeup reviews where I'm going to sit down like, hey, this is a new foundation. This is what I like, what I don't like. We're going to talk application um, and all of that kind of stuff. You know, we're, again, regardless of the product, not just foundation, we're going to be doing everything. Mascaras, new lip products, new blushes, bronzers, cream things. Like, I, I don't care what it is. We are going to be talking about it. There's going to be a lot of content over there. So just really quick, I'm so sorry. I have to get my hair up in a pony and out of my face. Guys, it was in case you couldn't tell, it was driving me crazy. As Willow would say, I was whipping my hair back and forth and it was looking a hot damn mess. So I had to get it up here. But um, all of that to be said, I am going to be uploading over on Instagram and there will be a ton of content. Um, I have some of it figured out. Like I just said, you know, there's going to be the... Uh, mini makeup reviews. There's going to be application stuff. There's going to be reels, IGTV videos. And again, if you follow me over there um, already, you, you already know kind of the content that I put out, what I'm, you know, what you're used to seeing in the Insta stories. None of that's going to change. But, uh, and obviously too, I'm still going to be doing like plus size fashion and OOTDs and stuff. But what you are going to see is a larger uptick in makeup. You're going to see, you know, more swatches, more application, more testing this, more, more of my thoughts. Again, whether that is in the IG stories, if I'm testing it and doing a wear test, throughout the day because um, I thought that would actually be kind of cool to literally do like a live action you know here's me applying it this is how it looks throughout the day and really just take you guys with me um, I think that that would be really really helpful and stuff that again I can do over on Instagram it's not going to overly tax my voice but you guys will still get to have like all of the content all of the information on the newest launches which I think for me that's something when it comes down to you know makeup and testing it out that's something that I am so so passionate about is talking about the new launches and the formulas and are they good? Are they not? And I have no intention of stopping that. Like I, I have no intention. Hell, I just actually, um, just the other day I got in finally the Jaclyn Hill lip liner and liquid lipsticks. Um, I got those in, I was able to buy them when she launched them her second time on the website. So I'm going to be, you know, swatching those, reviewing them over there, kind of talking to you guys about the formula. I also have, you know, a bunch of new stuff. I actually just got a PR package in from Koki Cosmetics. And so I'm going to be doing like a little reel on those products, applying them, you know, talking about about their formulas, what I think. And I just want to say something else too. And this is something that like, I, logically, like I, I know I don't even need to address it, but I want to, because it's something that I've heard from just a couple people, not very many, but a couple people in the comments over the last couple of months talking about how, um, I only am ever on Instagram. Like I don't really care about YouTube. I put everything over there. And I just want to address this from like a basic perspective, because right now making this video, it like, 
my heart hurts guys like it, it this hurts me and I will not have my my anything questioned because right now I'm not in a place where I can have that so I just want to put this out there I'm just gonna lay it bare bones I know that some people they, they hate this side of the conversation but I think that there are some people that this is the side that they're looking for so I'm just gonna be point blank honest with you if you are someone that's thinking that I am making this that it's just because I love YouTube I'm just trying to drive people over there whatever the case is um there is literally zero logic to support that analysis um, from any level. First of all, YouTube, not only is this where I have spent the most time, I have the largest following, I have the biggest, you know, like my view numbers and everything over here, my engagement rate, everything is great. Um, but it's also, like, let's just be honest, it's also my only form of monetized content. Um, YouTube is literally the only way that, like, my entire social platform um, runs on, like, a monetary basis. There's ads that, you know, you can put in the videos and stuff. You guys know that. Um, but it's also where like my sponsorships have been. It's where I have, you know, my links and again, people that watch me and that shop through my stuff. And again, I just put this out there for the people that either are thinking it, but won't say it or the people that are going to write it in the comments. Anyways, um, I'm just putting it out there that like this decision has zero benefit to that side of anything for me, because there's nothing monetized over on, um, what is that? Over on Instagram, there's nothing monetized. There's no ads that run. Like there's giving, not uploading to this is literally like on a, on a financial level, it's costing me basically everything. And on a heart level, it's taking away so much. So just before we go in that direction and before anybody wants to be that kind of nasty, I just want you to think about that because that like, again, if that's all you care about, first of all, I'm really sorry for you, but it's not all I care about and it's not all that I've based everything that I've built on. So I just wanted to put that out there just in case it was ever a thought that that's not a thought here and it's not a thought anywhere in this room. So just putting that out there. Okay. So I just took a second and I apologize. I didn't mean to get quite so about the whole, about the whole conversation there. Um, but I just, I, so I just, I have a hard time because I forget sometimes that the internet can just be so ugly and like for as much as I try so hard to like give it light and give it like all that I have, sometimes the dark parts affect me and that was just, you know what I mean? Like how some things just, huh, they just get you. That was, that was one of those. Um, but anyways, all that being said, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, if you want to check it out, it will be listed down below. I know that it's not ideal. I know that for some of you, it'll be a deal breaker. And I totally understand that. Um, I understand if you don't want to go over there, if you don't like that content, if you, whatever the case is, I understand. And I want you guys to know that I understand and that I, um, I understand that this is, Hmm. that I understand that this isn't what you signed up for. And I understand that, you know, that type of content, it's not like the long form content that you have over here. It's not the kind that you can watch while you get ready in the morning or when we drink our coffee together. I understand. And I just want you guys to know that I understand because for as disappointing as it is for you, it's just as disappointing for me. And I'm really, I'm really having a hard time with it. So I just want you guys to know that if, if you're pissed off, I don't blame you. If you're sad, I don't blame you. I don't blame you because I'm, I miss it too. And just this last week where I didn't have it was so weird and it was so lonely and it was so, yeah, it's just, it was weird. And this is something that like, I haven't talked to anybody about. I have, I hell, I barely talked to my parents about it only because, you know, I live with them and I just, I don't talk to anybody about anything because it's just, it's such a heavy thing for me. And Anyways, I just, all of that to be said, I just want you guys to know that I understand if you choose not to go over there and you don't want to follow me on Instagram, you don't like Instagram, you hate it, whatever, I understand and I don't want you to feel like you have to, but if you want to or if you want to support me and you still want to see what's next and what's going on, please feel free. I will have it linked down below. Um, I would, yeah, obviously I would love it. I, I would love it if I had every single one of you um, over there. I think that that would be amazing and awesome and everything. Um, but I just, I understand that it's not for everyone. Okay, so I'm just sitting here, like I'm trying to like take a second, right? And like group everything together. I'm trying to group everything together. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. Was that like Shrek mixed with Braveheart? Just, just not to stop. Page onions have layers. Um, I'm, but I'm trying to just like keep my head on and like also make sure that I said everything I want to say. And I just, I keep having this feeling of like, it's not, I don't want to say overwhelming failure, but it's very like, you know, it's like really, it's like right here. And I'm like, really? Who? And then part of me doesn't want to turn the camera off because, because it's, this is what I do. Who? Okay. Paige, just think, is there anything else? Because I, I keep trying to think, like, is there somewhere else that they could follow me? Is there something else that I could do? And I just, 
I've already thought about this for three weeks, so I don't know what I think I'm going to change sitting here in front of the camera over the course of two minutes, but I just keep trying to think, like, is there anything else? Do Hell, do I even have anything else? Oh, random side note, I have a Like to Know It page. If you don't know what that is, I'll link it down below. Um, it's like a way that, I, I've been doing it over on Instagram a lot in the last, like, three weeks, but basically, um, like, I ask you guys, you know, is there anything that you're looking to shop? And then I come up with, like, my curated recommendations, like, new at Abercrombie or, you know, my favorite drugstore makeup. Up, stuff to purchase at Sephora. That was one I did on Instagram. Um, like my sale recommendations, stuff like that. Um, and I've been, you know, trying to grow that as well. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave it linked down below. But it's not like a like a content like this kind of thing. Um, it's just like a cool way to shop things that I find that I think are cool. It's really a cool way for me to be like, guys, <laughs> did you see these new sandals? Okay, did you see these at Target? Ooh, they're so cute because that, that's what I do. Um, but anyways, if you haven't followed that yet, check it out down below. That is actually another platform that I'm trying to grow. It kind of goes hand in hand with Instagram. But um, yeah, aside from all of this, it's again, mainly going to be over on Instagram. If you want to check it out, I would really appreciate it. And if any of you are wondering like, you know, what you can do, like if, if there is anything you can do, um, I would say, first of all, you know, just say hi, because that would be really nice. It'd be really, it'd be really nice to hear right now. So just, you know, drop a comment down below. That would be really appreciated. Um, and yeah, go follow me on Instagram, share my content over there. Like I, I, again, growing that platform and making it something where I can can still reach people. Being able to reach people right now without hardly using my voice and like letting my content speak instead of me would be huge. So following me over there, sharing that, interacting with me like in my stories, um, you know, like as I ask you guys, is there anything that you're looking to shop for when I put together like those like to know it things, um, interacting with stuff like that. And obviously shopping through my links is still a big one. That, that, that doesn't really change between YouTube and Instagram, but shopping through my links is super obviously appreciated. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, following me on like to know it, engage, you know, base, basic things that you would do here, doing them over there um, would be really appreciated too. So if you, um, if you want to, that would be awesome. I would really, really appreciate it. And um, guys, I guess that that's it. I don't, I don't have anything else that I can think of right now. So too, I just want to say one more thing and then I promise, I promise I'm done. Um, I want to add on though, if you're someone like me and you are chronically ill or you're chronically in pain or whatever the case is, um, it's, it's really easy to look in our rear view mirror and see like this huge stack of bad things that's happened, right? Like I can, I can think right now of all the friends that I've lost, the people I've disappointed, the trips I didn't get to take, you know, you can, you can recount the list of things that you can't do anymore or the things that you, you, you know, the things you missed out on because of of your your thing right your sickness or whatever and I just want you guys to know that like for me this is one of those moments and if you're having one or you've had one recently it does suck and it feels so shitty and it hurts your heart so bad right but at the same time it doesn't have to define you. Like, this isn't going to define me, right? Like, it hurts, but I'm also, I'm accounting for that, and I'm being honest about it, and I think that this is one of the most valuable things that you can do. Obviously, you might not be sitting down doing it with an internet full of people, but you can sit down, and you can do this with yourself, and you can say, you know what? This hurts, but I'm not going to be done. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to stop, and I think more than anything, when I first got started all those years ago, and one of the reasons that I think this is so full circle is because no one is ever willing to have those hard conversations and no one is ever willing to be honest about the fact that like this sucks so much and it hurts and it pulls everything that you have out of you to go through these moments but at the same time you're going to go to bed and you're going to wake up tomorrow and the next day and the next day and life is going to continue and I want you guys to know that like I'm going to be okay and whatever you deal with or whatever that moment is for you like you can be okay too and it can be fine and things can go on and I don't I just the feeling of hopelessness that comes with being sick all the time, it sucks and it's such a shitty feeling that no one wants to talk about. And I just want you guys to know that like it's okay to feel that, but it's also okay to handle it and to be real about it and to see what you can do next to look forward. Just because we're sick doesn't mean we don't get to look forward. It means that we have to sometimes maybe look different. We have to find creative solutions like using an Instagram instead of a YouTube or whatever, but we still get to have solutions and we still get to have our own forward, even if it doesn't look like everybody else's. Okay, okay, okay. So this is official, the uh, the end of the video. Thank you guys all. Oh my God, I thought I just pulled the cat hair out of my eye. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope that this video finds you well. And I hope until I see you guys again, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.